Hey guys, Ben here and welcome back to another video on Supergirl Season 6. Today we're going to be talking about the new trailer for Episode 8. This is obviously not coming for a very long time. However, we do have a trailer which is very exciting and it shows Kara for the first time back on Earth as Kara Danvers and as Supergirl and also zor is joining her this time. So, if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so we have a poster that has just been released in regards to the whole Arrowverse. People have been freaking out over it, so we're going to break that down straight away. However, we do have the trailer, and the trailer is really exciting. And it must be noted, let's just start by saying this, Supergirl isn't coming back next week. Superman Lois is on instead, because Supergirl replaced it while Superman Lois was catching up. And so Superman Lois is going to be on for the next 10 weeks, so they're going to be airing 10 episodes until their finale. Granted, hopefully there's no more breaks. I'm not sure if they'll have a break between that or not. However, Supergirl is going to return after that. With episode 8, this trailer that we're breaking down, we're going to be seeing the footage in this episode on August 24th. So this means that Supergirl is going to be around for a very, very long time. So with it coming back with episode 8 on August 24th, it's still got 13 episodes including that. And Supergirl as a whole, like obviously this is the final season, it isn't going to end until mid-November. So literally we're going to have Supergirl into The Flash season 8. Like that's how long we're going to have it for. And yes, it's a shame it's going away for 10 weeks, but I see it as a good thing because we get Supergirl for such a long time, whereas normally it probably would have been done, like, in the next 13 weeks, you know, because we have 13 episodes left. But first things first, let's go over this poster that everyone's been freaking out about. Here you go, superhero hashtag squad goals by the CW, and it says suit up in the background. And why is this so awesome? Well, I'll tell you why. Obviously, excluding Green Arrow, aka Oliver Queen, this is probably the last poster that we're going to see of all of our heroes all united together. Like, they completely dropped out of nowhere. Later this year, we have Supergirl ending, we have Black Lightning ending, so they are going to be removed from this. Obviously not from the poster, but I mean like in any future posters. All it's going to be is The Flash, Stargirl, White Canary for Legends of Tomorrow, Batwoman, and Superman for Superman Lois. So that's one of the reasons why it's so cool and I mean it's kind of nostalgic in a way because we haven't had like a big crossover since Crisis and we're not sure if we're going to have one in the next seasons. So this is like the next best thing that people have to freak out about. And so yeah, you have Black Lightning on the far left, then you got the Flash all coursing with his lightning, with his yellow lightning, and then you got Stargirl with the cosmic staff, White Canary, you got Superman up in the air, Batwoman, and also Supergirl on the right. So I believe these are photos that were taken sometime last year. I think obviously the ones with Javicia and Tyler as Superman are new because those costumes weren't created last season. So the photo shoot you're seeing for Melissa, Grant, Cress, and everyone else is from older footage, like older photos they've taken. However, they've photoshopped them all together with this cool kind of sunset. And then you got like Superman as this kind of savior, kind of saint up in the air. He looks awesome in his new suit. I can't wait for Superman Lois to come back. And then you've got Black Lightning looking all cool up on top of the kind of rock pile that they're standing next to. Then you got the Flash crossing his arms with his lightning. I think he looks awesome with his suit and he sort of contrasts with the background. Stargirl looking cool, can't wait for the new season. White Canary, I do believe I've seen this photo of Katie before, but still looking cool as always. And Javisa looks really cool. I think this is actually the same photo they used for that original Batwoman poster they released. But then this one of Melissa, I haven't seen this before. Like this is brand new and I think that's part of the reason why people were freaking out because we haven't had many posters with like new poses from Supergirl so this is awesome she is floating up in the air just like Superman and she is with you know the DC TV's Justice League which is awesome as always but anyway on to the trailer for Supergirl season 6 episode 8 so the first shot of the trailer we have Alex with Kara and once again we reunited them last episode that was the final thing you saw in the episode obviously before the Nixley cliffhanger and that was like the one scene you saw with Kara, aka Melissa, with the rest of the crew. Apparently there was a deleted scene where Kara actually had a group hug with Alex and John as well. 
uh, David said that that was actually deleted from the episode, so maybe we'll see that in some sort of behind the scenes video that will be on the DVD or Blu-ray this season. And so yeah, Alex is reuniting and she's saying it's so good to have you back. They're inside what looks like to be maybe the tower or it could be somewhere else, I'm not entirely sure. However, it kind of looks like the DEO, but obviously the DEO isn't a thing this season. So yeah, you've got the reverse shot, you've got Kara in her Supergirl suit, obviously looking like she has this whole season without the bangs, and she smiles at Alex, and there is this kind of red light that's going on, so yeah, I'm getting like weird vibes, maybe it is on the ship, like maybe there's a corner of the tower that is unexplored and they kind of introduce in this episode, I'm not sure. Well, it looks like they are sitting down rather than like standing up, or they're just like you know, idol in a room essentially, and so Kara is smiling and she is super happy to be back, and obviously this is like a meta thing, because Melissa is probably also very happy to be back with the rest of her friends. Let's move on to the next shot, so we have Zorel. he is on Earth for the first time, and you got this welcome back party for Kara, you can see in the background there is like a bunch of balloons, Supergirl is here suited up and, you know, looking awesome as always, in her new Supergirl suit that we've had for a while, and Again, I don't think she's going to get a new Supergirl suit this season. However, Zoro looks really cool in his full Kryptonite getup. Obviously, he has the symbol as well as Kara, so it's very cool seeing that side by side. And he says, I want to see what my daughter has been up to on Earth. Something along those lines. And that's what he's going to be doing this episode. And it's going to be all about Supergirl readjusting to Earth. Obviously, it's only been like a few weeks in their time. But still, after being in the Phantom Zone and being so disorientated even for a few weeks, that is a lot to take in, and you'll need to readjust. And also, zor is going to be getting used to Earth. Okay, so we move on to the next shot. You've got this close-up of zor He looks very out of place. The focus is slightly soft at the edges of his face, which kind of emphasizing him being out of place and sort of disorientated by this new environment. And then we cut to the shot of Kara, and she is talking to zor and she's saying, You are my uncle, Archie from Midvale. And basically this episode, he is doing a mon -El. Just like when mon -El first came to Earth, he had this name Mike. And mon -El got so close so many times to exposing himself. And it seems like Archie, aka zor is going to be doing the same thing this episode. Then we go to a wider shot, and you've got Nia also in the Catco elevator with Archie, aka zor -El. And also Kara, and Kara looks very, very anxious because she kind of trusts zor -El. However, she knows that he hasn't had to, like, properly hide his identity. And also, it must be noted, he's never had powers before. So this is going to be a new thing for him. Figuring out he's got powers whilst he's on Earth. Is he going to take it in a good way? Is he going to take it in a bad way? Obviously, a lot of the theories at the start of the season was that he was going to be the main villain because in Rebirth, which episode 1 was titled, in the comics, he actually turned out to be the villain. But I don't think he's going to be a villain in this because, I don't know, he's just too innocent and he is just kind of excited to see what Kara has been doing on Earth. And I don't think there's anything malicious going on there. However, it seems like Nixley is probably going to be like, one of the main villains, I don't think she's going to be like the overarching main villain because I don't think she's going to last that long. However, she is going to be around for at least like three more episodes, maybe four. Okay, so we cut to the next shot. We've got inside Catco, zor aka Archie, very much so using his powers and exposing himself just like mon -El did those many seasons ago. So he's lifting up a printer and Kara in the next shot is like, whoa, like, uh-oh. This is bad. And William is in the background, so has William found out about Archie having superpowers? And does this in turn expose Kara as Supergirl? Or at least Kara as an alien? Or at least relatives with an alien, which kind of suggests that she is an alien? So either way, if William finds out, she's going to be in big trouble. But I'm not 100% sure if he is going to find out. I think it may be just like a red herring in the trailer. Anyway, we cut to the next shot. And we've got Team Supergirl finally reunited all together. However, Supergirl is in her Power Ranger suit, as we call it here. And we can't see Kara's face and Melissa's. So I'm going to say 
This is probably shot just before Melissa came back, this one specific fight scene, and that's probably why they found a way to bring in the Power Rangers suit, because a lot of the times, unless it involves kryptonite, Melissa normally would just be in her normal Supergirl suit. So that's my theory about that shot and the next couple of ones. But we move on and we have Nia with Zorel, and she says, do you want to find out what your daughter really does on Earth, which leads into one of the next shots with both of them, just from a different angle, and she says, now get ready to fly. So it seems like Zorel is probably going to be doing some flying, maybe some supering in this episode, and Nia is going to be tagging along with them as he sort of adjusts to this world, and obviously he's going to be in Catco for at least like a large proportion of the episode, but I presume he's going to go out on some of the adventures as this trailer suggests. Okay, so then you get the shot right here inside a warehouse. You've got Megan and Nia in the background and maybe Zoro is going to show up here. But you have Kara in the suit and she is literally clapping her enemies away. So I don't remember who exactly is like the villain of the week. However, they're going to be pretty much destroyed with the return of Supergirl. And also, it must be noted, I don't think there's been many criminals unless Team Supergirl has been completely ignoring them since Kara went away, but we barely had any villains of the week, it's just been the Phantoms, so yeah, I don't know, I just thought I would point that out there. And then the final shot of the trailer, which I'm pretty sure is an old shot because this is with Supergirl's old Sue. so yeah, just a cool flying shot that kind of matched the dialogue in the trailer. But that's about it for this video guys, thank you guys so much for watching, if you did enjoy it, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, the like is very important because it helps our channel get spread around, but also subscribing is super important, and turn on notifications if you don't want to miss any videos, for now you can click here to watch my latest video, in the meantime, but I'll catch you guys later, goodbye. I see red.